Today we're going to make bite-sized cake balls. They're perfect truffle-like little bite-sized treats that are going to be great for Valentine's gifts for everybody that I love. To start with, we're going to make the cake according to the package directions. Now that the cake has baked, we're going to let it sit and cool completely. We're at the stage now to where we are going to use an electric mixer and mix the icing with the cake. Now we're just about done with the mixing part of it. So we are actually going to let it sit for at least four hours, if not overnight, so that we can move on to making our little cake balls. I have actually transferred the mixture to a uh, even size casserole dish to set for the four hours or overnight so that the balls will come out more even when we go to scoop those out before we dip those in the chocolate. Okay, now that has set overnight, I'm going to start to scoop these out into little balls so that I can set them in the freezer for probably about an hour. But first, I've got a quick trick to show you. I've caught a mug with some warm water, and each time that I go to dip one of the balls out, I'm going to dip the melon baller in the water, and it's going to help this to release from the melon baller right onto the plate with a little coaxing from my finger and there you have it now we will stick those in the freezer and let them set up nicely and we'll start to melt our white chocolate you're probably wondering why you see the two different plates. Once I get these scooped out, what I do is I put uh, some gloves on because it's red and I don't want to stain my hands. And I put the balls and roll them gently in my hands. Uh, to make more of a uniform uh, ball, it's easier to dip in the chocolate once you do that. And then I just put those on a separate plate and then pop them in the freezer and they'll be ready to go. Now we're going to start to melt the white chocolate chips so that we can dip the balls in them. Okay, now using a toothpick, I am going to dip the cake ball in the melted white chocolate and place it over here. on the tray with the other ones that I have. And I'm going to continue this process until they are all done. Okay, see there's a little bit of that cake still showing at the top. All you do is take the spoon that you used to stir the white chocolate uh, since it has melted and just barely put just a couple of drops on top and spread it out till it completely covers. And while it's still wet, you'll just sprinkle your red sprinkles or drizzle chocolate or whatever you've chosen to do and in just a few minutes they will be completely set up. And here they are all finished in a simple packaging such as a canning jar and they're beautiful and here I'm going to show you what they look like on the inside. 